Oh my god. Bro, it was a full shadow man. A full shadow man just came at me. Bro, I saw that. Let me just interrupt this vlog by telling you guys about the Hemiway All-Terrain e-bike. One of the awesomest bikes I have ever received from Hemiway. You guys know I'm a big supporter of Hemiway. They've been sending me bikes forever. And they sent me this new one called the Hemiway Zebra. I absolutely love this one. You guys need to definitely check it out from my links in the description below. The Hemiway All-Terrain e-bike is truly amazing. Thanks to its outstanding features and advanced technology, one of its key highlights is the 48 volt Samsung lithium ion battery. This battery utilizes the latest Samsung LG battery technology with a single cell capacity of 5000 mAh. Compared to traditional batteries, this battery provides improved range, stability, and safety for Hemiway bikes. With a single charge, the Hemiway all-terrain e-bike can travel up to 100 kilometers on pure electric power and over 128 kilometers with pedal assist. Even after a thousand charges, this battery will maintain 80% capacity, ensuring long-lasting performance. In addition to its impressive battery, the Hemiway all-terrain e-bike boasts an updated aluminum frame and a fully integrated battery design. The high-quality aluminum frame ensures unparalleled durability while the reserve fork design allows for wider tires enabling riders to upgrade to 4.8 inch tires the fully integrated battery design not only provides protection from inclement weather but also eliminates up to 98% of common mechanical failures ensuring a reliable and worry-free riding experience powering the Hemiway all-terrain e-bike is a 500 watt upgraded brushless gear hub motor this motor features a specialized inner ring that is resistant to high temperatures and offers better heat dissipation this design ensures ensures a longer life expectancy for motor magnets by reducing their attention speed. With this powerful 500 watt motor, riders can effortlessly conquer even the most rugged terrains, making every adventure a breeze. The 26 inch Kenda Fat Tire design provides excellent traction, preventing slipping on the ground and sinking in mud or snow. So what are you guys waiting for? Grab yourself a discount using my link in the description below. Get your Hemiway Zebra and unleash your wild side on any terrain. The coolest part about the Hemiway e-bikes is that you can literally upgrade them right from the website with just a click of a button. With just one click, you can have so many awesome features such as the Zebra Basket, awesome for storage, also the rack, which is what I have on this thing right now. The Hemiway Zebra Fender Kit, which I think would come in handy, especially in muddy situations. When I was going through all the upgrade lists on their website, I came across the coolest thing ever, and it's something that I'm gonna be upgrading and actually purchasing from the Hemiway website, like today. And that is the e-bike cargo trailer. This thing has a payload capacity of 132 pounds. Guys, when I travel on these adventures, I'm always going in the forest, I'm always going places, and sometimes I have to carry everything on my back. If I had this e-bike cargo trailer, like literally I would take everything with me on my adventures and I won't even have to worry about freaking breaking my back when I go on these adventures. So this is something that I'm gonna be ordering for myself like right now. Depending on where you work and where you live, the e-bikes are super cool to just take to work. If you wanna to commute to work, you don't wanna use up your gasoline in your gas powered vehicles, and you don't want to risk breaking your cars, you don't want to risk getting your car stolen, you don't want to risk your cars breaking down if you don't have a warranty, it's gonna cost you a lot of money. So if you get yourself an e-bike like this, you'll be commuting to work, you'll be saving a lot of money on fuel, and you don't have the risk of having someone stealing your car or breaking into it. And the cool thing about this is you can just take the battery with you and charge it at your workplace. So it's a win-win situation. And speaking of breakdowns and stuff, if this thing has a defect, Hemiway will gladly take the stress off of you with offering their two year warranty. This warranty is really cool. It's very inclusive to the bike. It's inclusive to you. If you've got a defect and you're the original owner, they're gonna cover everything 100%. I've been a big fan of Hemiway for a few years now. They've been sending me bikes like nonstop, um, not only to review, but also to try out. I have done a giveaway before. I've given one away in the past. They're really good bikes. I've had a lot of bike companies reach out to me in the past and try to offer me their product. I've tried their product out. And let me tell you one thing guys, the quality on Hemiway has no superior, literally. These are the best bikes for the money that you're paying. And speaking of money, you guys can get a discount using my link in the descriptions below. So make sure if you wanna get yourself an e-bike, 
get my link. It's down below, it's pinned to the top of the comments and in the description. It'll give you guys a nice discount. So yeah, make sure to check that out. Hit me wait, thank you so much. I'm about to go on the website right now and order that cargo bike trailer thing. Like that's cool, I'm gonna be towing around all my heavy stuff whenever I'm doing my adventures in the forest. So I do use these things a lot. They do come in handy. If you guys don't believe me, go to my vlog channel. I, I take these things around ever on the vlogs and uh, I really do love them. Anyway, thank you once again and let's get back into this video. So what kind of paranormal is happening in here? Paranormal. We have shadows in here, but it's hard to tell because of the the streets. You have the lights, Wait, you have the trail. Yo, something just tugged on my show, on my on my on my back like on my sh on my shirt. Oh, it's still doing it right now. Wait, hold on. I heard something. Dude, something's tugging on my shirt. Look behind you. Is there anything pulling on my shirt? It'd be a little bit lower. As you heard that, something was tugging on my shirt. Like literally, as you heard the noise, something started tugging on the back of my shirt. As I was talking to her about paranormal. We do have a little boy. Girl. A little really? boy? A little boy? You think it would have been him, maybe? Oh, it was. Man. It was down here. So it was like more, more lower. Yeah. Damn. Okay, I missed that. I heard something down there. You will. We have shadows that actually go from the door to the stairs. Damn, okay. We actually had a paranormal investigator. Actually, it's funny because it's the one that just texted me. Yeah. Or called me. And I was standing in the doorway. He was sitting in the chair, but he was facing me. Mm -hmm. We had all the lights on. And he all of a sudden just started scrambling. And then he turned around and said, I need to get out of here. And he's packing up. And I said, what are you doing? What? And he says, I just fell seeing a full apparition walk behind you to go up the stairs oh my god no way and he turned around he was freaked out oh my god. let me tell you he was like out of here he was right he was gone he so there's a chance we might see an actual full apparition in here yes and i just got tugged on by something from Wait, the back it was over there you said it was over here that's where it had us out I was actually standing in the doorway. So this is the tin museum that I was telling you guys about. That's this is a place that was used as a safe haven for the underground, um, you know, for an underground railroad back in the day. Behind me, and he actually seen him go past me and up the stairs. This is where I heard the sound. Is anyone here? So this actually, the bottom floor used to be 14 rooms. 14 rooms down here. So when they yeah. built, they were in the process of building Nine Mile. The guys would actually stay here. The lights were on the first floor and the lights were on the second floor. Do you want to show yourself to us? Was it on this staircase that he had seen it? It was. I was standing here. He seen it walk back behind me and then in there. So there's something special upstairs. We're about to go and see what it is. Hi everyone. She's saying hello to all the spirits that are in here. shadows come out of there. We believe it's a female. Um, this room is our military room and wow, we have so Mexico cool. Academy School, high school, which used to be a military academy. Do you know if these military uniforms were ever worn by actual soldiers in combat? All these, yes. Yes. So there yes. could be something attached to those too. Yes. These wow. are all worn? Yeah. These oh, are all God. worn. Now, these you know. are donations from people in Mexico and surrounding areas. Now by Mexico, she means Mexico, Mexico, New York. That's where we're at right now. Yeah, these were worn by soldiers, so that definitely something could be still connected to these if someone's passed on. Wow. That is so cool. This is sweet. You I'm a firm them? believer in haunted objects, and these are objects, and they could be haunted. Yep. And in these books, we have a lot of obituaries, things that we have weddings. Wow, um, look at all those old faces. That's so cool. This is where it gets interesting. Uh oh, as if it wasn't already. We okay. have our tool room. And then we have our children's room. Oh, we got a room for, oh my God. Oh my, what? What? Uh, I was not expecting this. Look at all these dolls in here. This is so creepy. Whoa. Toys from 1875. All these weapons. They used to make tin here. So this is where a tin man was invented. <laughs> wow, look at all these tools. These tools are actually donated from people all around um, Mexico and in Mexico. 
And they were actually used on farms, in barns. Wow, look at this room, a lot of this old... This is our meeting room. And as you come in, you can see the floor is actually in split. There was four rooms in this one room. Oh, okay. There was 14 rooms. Ooh, I love you how you, on each side. you have this, uh, well, this was for yarn, right? Yes. That is so cool. It's a big room. A spindle is what it's called, I think. Now, I, did you say, have you ever had anything in here happen? Absolutely. What, what? My very first time I was sitting on this stool, the gentleman that was in the team, pit crew, he was a founder, he sat in the chair and he asked if the little boy was here. And the little boy, the female that was with the little boy said, if both of, her, of you are here, can you let us know? Mm -hmm. And I had headphones in called Real Time and he had headphones in and we both looked at each other. We heard the word C in a female's voice. C. He played it back because C in Spanish is yes. Oh, oh yeah, true. true. So he played it back and kept playing it back. We had class A EVP. That was the first time I've ever heard anything up here. It was That's insane. Cool. So we're gonna have to bust out the spirit yep. box up here and yep. see Definitely. what kind of stuff. You'll get all kinds of names. Okay. You'll get German. German. Because we have the fort. They had the um, the fort actually brought in the Holocaust people that were escaping. Okay. Um, we have French, naturally, British. We have all kinds. German is most prominent up here. What is this? Has this ever run? Has ever played that? Um, no, actually, I watched those movies. When that was that downstairs, wonderful? it was just brought in. Okay. And I have a bad habit of touching things. And I was trying to get it to play. I walked away from it, and the team that was here that night, as I walked away and had my recorder going, that started playing. No Actually, way. it started playing. She no turned way. around, she's like, um, Sheila? And I said, yeah, she says the recorder's going. And I said, what? And I walked over there, and now I had the paper in my left hand, he had my camera in the right on my phone, and I'm trying to stop it. And when I could not stop it, I turned around, the, the lady turned around and I said, I can't. I said, it's not doing it, so I'm trying to stop it, pick the record up. And, and she just kept going. And she said, who's doing that? And all of a sudden, we didn't get anything, it just stopped. And we're like, what? That is so weird. So then I played the recording back about three months later. At the end of the recording, I have the word me in a child's voice. Oh, oh wow. Class A. I'm like, if I turn my phone off any so sooner, cool. I would have missed it. When I brought it to the board, <laughs> the ladies are like, I said, hey, I want you guys to see something. She says, does it involve the Victrola? And I said, yeah. She's like, no. They I said, why? It. She's like, no, we had experiences. With it being downstairs where the register was in that area, this would start playing. As soon as they walked into the office, the Victrola started going. So you, know what oh that, so you know what that tells me? That tells me that this, that this object has an attachment to it. And maybe not necessarily it's this building. So here's what we got to be doing tonight. Spirit box. Trying to communicate with these mm -hmm. children, get them to play this machine. Yeah. And Flashlights go on and off up here. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so obviously this place is pretty cool. Very old. There's a lot of artifacts in here, and that definitely tells us that this place is 100% going to be haunted. We haven't experienced too much just yet. Just Sorry. basically a noise and something tugging on the back of my shirt. But guys, the night is still young, and we're probably going to be capturing something. Now, I'm not going to bring out the SLS camera here. I'm going to be doing some spirit box stuff. Okay, guys, before we begin the investigation, we're going to start started off upstairs we're gonna be doing some Estes method and we're gonna be doing some cat ball stuff and some REM pod stuff now I wasn't gonna do spirit box but we're gonna switch to necrophonic because my spirit box is actually dead we've been on this road trip filming a lot and it's understandable when gear um, dies and we're actually literally about to cross over to Canada after this investigation so all our gear is kind of like toast at this point but check it out there's like so much stuff from way back in those days over here when this was a tin factory we used to make tin and if you don't know what tin is that's tin right there Pretty cool, right? Yeah, and also guys, she said that upstairs there was a music, the music thing, it played by itself before, so we're also gonna do an investigation upstairs as well. 
and off camera, Mo wasn't filming this, but she said she heard the exact same sound that I heard coming from the staircase. So yeah. something's in that area. Yeah, and when you heard that sound, something tugged on my shirt. Yeah, really exactly. Weird. So we got a lot of investigating to do, so stick around until the end of the video. We do have a lot of investigating, but honestly, all I want to do is focus on the upstairs stuff. Yeah, so yeah. let's go jump upstairs right let's now. Do it. Okay guys, I'm upstairs right now. I'm gonna be planting some devices in certain areas. I've got a laser, I've got a laser grid, which I'm gonna be pointing somewhere in this hallway. So if anything crosses the laser while we're doing a spirit box session in here, we're gonna know. Um, I kind of want it to be sitting almost like in here. All right, so as you can see, I have a laser in this hallway. So if anything comes up the stairs while we're inside and doing a spirit box reading, we're gonna know it's gonna cross paths with the laser and it's gonna make some noises. So hopefully we capture something on that. Next up, I'm gonna have the REM pod going off in here as well as a cat ball. I haven't used a cat ball in quite some time actually, so it's good to have this cat ball back here. Well, since ghost children are known to play with... <gasps> what was that? Something just tapped on the wall. Since ghost children are known to play with this machine, I put the cat ball right on top of it. So. That starts to go off, then we got something. Oh. Lights up, turn the lights down. We got REM pod activity. Holy wow. Oh my god. That is a lot of activity on the REM pod. What? That was blue, physical touch. Oh my god. Light. I saw that. We're still trying to set up our gear in the spirit box right now. We found some batteries. Oh, oh, oh. There's something close to it. It's touching, it's touching. It's going to green, dude. That is crazy. Hey, what's here? Can you stop doing that? Can you touch the cat ball that's on top of the machine over there? What are you doing here? We're, Not even like... Dude, it's like just going crazy on the REM pod. So we're getting some green. And... Make it go to orange or, yeah, or blue. What? You, what the? Yeah, it's here. There's something here. It's going crazy. Yeah. Remember yesterday we were at that one house and there was nothing on the REM pod and yeah, now it's, here going, it's crazy. going crazy. Wow, it just goes to show you. What? I turned it off a little bit just to get some quietness. Hey, uh, if you are in this room with us, can you actually touch the cat ball that's on top of that box? Oh yeah. There's a cat ball on the music box. Can you set it off for us? I'm gonna give him some space. Yeah. The only way that cat- Oh, what's oh, going on? Oh, 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 it's oh, going up. oh, oh my God. Oh, oh. I just asked it to do it and it did it. Oh, oh. Crap. And I literally said I'm gonna give Whoa. it space. Oh, that is crazy. What the? Can you make the music box go off? Oh, Holy there. shit. Oh my god! Dude, literally, that is crazy. Yo, you saw, I was walking away. I was I know, like, I'm gonna give you I space. Know, I know, I know, I know. Oh my god. Wow. First the REM pod, and then the cat ball. Woo! All right, what? spirits. Hey, little boys, that ball, like, you can play with it as long as you want, but make that music box go off if you can. Please. Dude, I, if, if that music box does actually go up, I am running. Yo, me too. Literally. <laughs> you guys are the best. Please, can you, can, can you make the music box go off? How about you go back to the uh, REM pod on the table? So what we're planning on doing is trying to communicate with you with the spirit box. And if you actually get that spirit box talking, maybe a name will help. Maybe we want to find out who was actually touching the ball. Yeah. Hey Frank, are you in this room with me right now? Frank. This is Frank's room. Apparently there's a ghost named Frank that uh, he can be vicious at times apparently. That's what she was telling us downstairs. Friends, Frank can be a little bit vicious. Hey Frank, can you do something for me? Well, you gotta remember, she did also say there's potentially a demon here too. She said that? Yeah, she did. So we gotta be careful. And she said, oh, you know what she said? She said that she made an agreement with him that as long as she's here, no one's gonna touch the tools. Because he doesn't like it when someone touches no their way. tools. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna touch it. No? Bad idea? Oh, 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 something's something setting it off. Turn your light off, turn your light off. Something's tripping the grid. Look, it's go. Oh, oh, yeah, something off. Yeah, something's tripping the grid. Yeah, See that blue light? What the hell? The hell? Off. It's very, very faint. But I mean, something's here, right? Yeah. That grid should not be going off. That's cool. I'm so happy I set that up. Okay, so. What about the cat ball? Can you make the cat ball go off again? How about we keep these lights off? Dude, that was crazy. Yeah, I'll turn the light off. 
We're gonna turn the light off so you can have fun. Can you make the cat ball go off? Bro, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared. Like, what if the, the demon comes in here and the lights are off? Like, well, how about this? How about we sit down? Scary, bro. How about this? How about we sit down? We try to talk to Frank or one of the spirits or whoever touched that cat ball. Okay, I'm down. Let's do it. All right, let's go. All right, so we're about to sit down and try out the spirit box and see if we can talk to anything on it. Let's freaking do this. I mean, we honestly, like, we've been getting so much in, the, in these places and we haven't even spent that much time. You know no, what I mean? Like, no, we haven't. Like, not an old nighter type of thing. But hey. What the hell? That was loud. Hello, spirits of this museum or tin shop we'd like to communicate with you are you here we're gonna put the REM pod right here right. was that you guys before playing right. with the spirit ball cat ball sorry we're starting to get something hello who's that Are you with us? I feel hot for some reason. I feel like something's grabbing me in the neck. Yeah, it's really hot. Is your neck okay? I feel like I'm being grabbed. She, oh, she said that they like to touch, remember? Really? Yeah, she did say that. Do you, are you touching us? Was that a yes? Who are you? Is Frank here? I hope not, man. Hey, Frank, are you with us? My name is Mo Sarji. Can you make that cat ball go off? The ball. Were you the one that touched the ball? Maybe, maybe it was the kids asking about the kids. I'm told that there are two little boys in here. Is that true? Can I talk to the children of this room? Do you guys want to play a game? I heard no. Do you want to play a game? We're getting a lot of voices. Kids like games. They keep asking about games. We can play a really fun game if you want. Just say yes. What was that? Hello? Is it was a hello? Hello, who's this? Hi! Oh! A little boy saying oh, hi! Oh! They're here, they're here. They said hi, that was clear. Yeah, so who is this? Who are we talking to? I don't feel right, I feel weird. I don't feel well either. Frank, where are you, Frank? I hope it's not Frank. Frank, I'm gonna go and touch your tools. Tell me you're here or I'm gonna go and t play with your tools. Frank, he's gonna do it. He's gonna take your tools. Bro, he gets really angry if you grab his tools. <gasps> what? Oh, what the fuck was that? What the hell was that? What was that? I don't know. Something just came at me from over there. Bro. Bro, I told you not to tell you. You're gonna protect the tools. No, 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 no. There was a... a no. Take it back. Take it back. Take oh, the cap off. The cap off. Oh, oh, the cap off. The cap off just went off. Shit, oh it. my god. I missed it, I missed it. Dude, the cat was dude, wrong. dude, something just came at me. Bro, I told you, you said you're gonna touch his tools. You shouldn't do that. Dude, it was like a, dude, it was like a full person. It was like a full shadow, a full shadow man. She said there's a big apparition. Oh my god. Bro, it was a full shadow man. A full shadow man just came at me. Bro, I saw that. Oh Wait, was that god. you? Frank, was that you? Bro, and then the cat Bro, off. literally, literally the freaking cat ball. I, like, I can't believe it. I can't just wrap my mind around this. The cat ball went off. Okay, Mo, I dare you. Say it again. Say you're gonna touch its tools. Frank. Frank, I'm gonna touch your tools right now. Bro, be careful. Get ready. When I said that last, the cat ball went off and something just like came at me. Holy crap, dude. What the hell? Yeah, that, that's a little boy's voice right there. I who, heard, who is that? I heard, help. Guys, keep your eyes wide open if you see anything in the background. This is getting really serious right now. I didn't expect this. Holy crap, I screamed, dude. I screamed so loud. Holy. 
I didn't catch the cat ball. Did you catch it? No, I didn't catch it, but I, I don't care. Like, this thing that came at me, bro. Hey, Frank, if you don't shoot us a sign, he's going to take your tools and go home. Can I touch this device? Light up this ball to let me know if I can touch it or not. What if I turned it? Bro. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that was me. No, that, 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 that was me. That was me. Pretty sure that was me. Frank, can you? He's gonna take your tools, man. If you don't do something, he's gonna take your tools. Give us a sign that you're here. Bro, 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 bro. Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh my god. The freaking chandelier. What is going on? Oh my god. That happened when Frank attacked me, or, or something came at me. Oh. I don't know. I just know oh it's it. I've been here the whole time. Frank! Oh, it's a Frank! Oh. It said Frank! Oh, the balls, the balls! Oh! Oh, the ball, the ball! The oh my god! It said Frank and the ball started lighting up! Frank, is that you? Oh my what god! What the dude, hell? Dude, I, I can't tell. Maybe we should call her. I, I can't tell if it's Frank or no, the kids. I think we should stop. Yeah, we should probably call her. I think we should, ask her no, what she thinks. After what happened to me, you yeah. wanna go call her? Go get Sheila. Go get her. Yeah, yeah. Go okay. get Sheila. Okay. I'm gonna get Sheila. I'll be back. Oh my. The cat ball's going off yet again. What the hell? That's moving. Cat ball's going off. Hello, who's there? Frank, is that you? Frank, we want to talk to you, man. Why'd you come at me like that? I cannot believe it. That cat ball went off at the same time. Something came at me. Holy. What else can you do for us, Frank? I won't touch your tools, I promise. As long as you actually give us a sign that you're here. Although I want to get Sheila, I'm here by myself right now waiting on something to happen. Frank. That was really terrifying. Something came at me like, I, what what it was? It was like a big shadow. Yeah, and it happened as soon as you I, so you said that you were gonna take his. Tools. We're gonna take his tools. I'm sitting here on this chair, Sheila. Sheila's here right now. I'm sitting here on this chair. Cameras are there recording us, and it looked like this big tall figure, like a full apparition, coming at me. And when that happened, cat ball over there goes off. We have a cat ball in the music box, and then we're standing here. All you hear is Frank, like loud and clear on the spirit box. Holy, I'm shaking. Wow. So we figured we'd call you up to see what you think, like what you feel. Can you try to talk to him? Is it Frank? Is it the kids? What do you think? Frank, Frank's one of them. Frank's here? Hey Frank! Talk to us, man. Sheila's here now. Is he afraid of you? No. No? Yeah. So nobody actually touched his tools. We were just saying like, give us a sign that you're here or we're going to touch our tools. But like, we won't actually touch them. Yeah. Frank, Frank is conscious about his tools. Right, Frank? What about the little boy? We heard a little kid saying hello. A little boy's voice. Wow, that was stressful, dude. Whatever that came was, at me from there, that was, it was like a big black shadow. And it all happened at the exact same Yeah. The shadow, the ball, like it was crazy. Oh my God. <laughs> Remember how I was telling you I was feeling too? I felt like something was grabbing me around the neck. Yeah. Wow. Hey, you want to like end this <laughs> before yeah, something bad happens? Before hey, before we go, Frank, can you make the music box go off? I would really appreciate that. Like that'd be so... Make the music box go off. Or the rent, or the, or the ball that's on top of the box. Whoa. What's the little boy's name again? We call him little man. Little man. Is that? Uh, did, did you say what? No. Little man. 
Little man, where you at? Sound like a hero. That was a man's voice, but there was a voice right after that. Well, Little Man isn't confirmed to be a boy, right? He is confirmed to be a boy? Which we did get a little boy's voice. And it said hello earlier. Like crystal clear. I think maybe Frank feels like more certain that we're not going to take these tools because she's here. Because they have said they have an agreement. Possibly. Okay, well, spirits of this room. What? That he just said what? Yeah, what? Hey, thank you for your time. Where are you going? Well, we're about to leave. I heard wait. Yeah, it sounded like a wait. Do you want to try asking any questions here? Well, we're, we're going to leave now. That's where we're going. Do you want us to leave? Don't follow us, okay? Stay here. Yo, this one was crazy. I wasn't expecting to see something coming from this way. Like coming right at me. I can't wait to review the footage. Wait, what happened? She did, I was not filming. She said she was I heard the stair creak. Not creak, but it was like somebody. When you come up, you Whoa. put your weight on it. Did someone turn off my laser? When you put your weight on it. What? Wait, wait what? something. Someone turned off my laser. I didn't turn it off. Did you yeah, turn it off? Nice. Nope. Yeah, let's turn things off here. Oh my god. You didn't turn it off. Like you, when you came up here earlier, was it on? Like when we called you up here, was it on? So he turned it off. Somebody turned it off. That, that was on. I didn't turn it off. I didn't even realize it was Dude, on. it got drained. What? Oh my god. Dude, I charged this thing all night long last night. What the heck? It got drained completely. We haven't been up here for more than 20 minutes. Okay, maybe maybe he got mad when you said you were going to take his tools. And Bro. He's like, all right, I'm taking your tools. This then. guy literally did There's so much. more than three people up here. Oh. Well, then they drained the crap out of my laser because it was going blue. Remember how it was like flashing? It was, yeah. They were probably draining it as we were filming. What? That's crazy. You said you heard someone Dude. There? I, it sounded like somebody was standing, stepping up on the stair because it wasn't a creek, but it was like. I get what you're saying. Okay. Carlo, did you come up the stairs? You didn't come up the stairs just now. No. It wasn't Carlo. What? Maybe it was one out of the three people up here. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you for your time, spirits. We're gonna go home now, back thank to Canada. You. Okay guys, we just finished from the Tin Museum, which is right there behind me. This was probably and unexpectedly one of the most bizarre locations I have ever filmed a haunted paranormal investigation. Thank you to Sheila, she was amazing. She helped us out. She gave us all the information that we needed. Yep. And we got freaking, I got scared. I don't know about you, but I got scared. Bro, we got some real evidence that there is paranormal inside there. Like, it was so scary that like, guys, I wanted to just leave. Like, how the heck did something just come out of nowhere and almost attack me? You cannot have, like, and then the cat ball went off at the same time. We've established that, but what the heck came at us, dude? I don't know, bro. I felt it. I saw it in my peripheral. I looked. That shit was scary. I do not want to see that again. Let me know in the comments below if you guys seen anything behind the scenes that we missed. An orb of some sort, some type of entity, maybe an EVP that you caught. An EVP is a type of voice that you might have heard. Let me know in the comments below. This is Real Ghost Hunting with Mo Sarji and Aldo. We are. Did you show your nipple? Oh, uh, I don't think so. He showed us his nipple, didn't I he? I, was, I don't know. I hope we did it. I'm going to have to put a blur on that because I don't know if YouTube allows nipples. Oh, oh wait. We, they allow nipples for a minute, I think. There we anyway, go. this is this is going nowhere right now. Sheila just left. If you guys see any ghosts in the windows right now, please don't tell me. But if you want me to come back, Sheila definitely wants me to come back. If you guys want us to come back here, let me know in the comments below as well. We shall see you on the next episode. Subscribe to Aldo and subscribe to Carlo. We love y'all. Be you, do you, stay positive. Live a little merch down below and just live a little. Bye-bye.